Hello my friends, today I'll show you how to make a melodic drop like Rehab in FL Studio 20. What's cool about Rehab's drops is that he combines a fat slap house bassline with a huge and emotional future house lead, so we're gonna try to create something in that style. I call it, Future Slap House. Alright gentlemen, in a drop like this, it's important to have a freaking tight ass drum pattern and rhythm as a foundation. If we create this first, it will be very easy to fill in the drop with a bassline and lead melody. Let's start by adding a kick. And a ride. Now guys let's add some percussion sounds and create a rhythm for the drop. I kinda like that rhythm guys. Now we will fill it out with some claps. Guys, now that we have created the main elements of the drum pattern, we can have some fun and add some nice effects. I started by adding some rides and an impact, which will make a part of the baseline hit harder. Now let's add some more effects and ear candy. To add some fullness to the drop, I added these energy samples. And these impacts. I also added this atmosphere sound for some ambience. Lastly I added some hi-hats. Alright my good men. Damn I thought there at least would be one woman. Anyway, now that we have a nice foundation we can move on to the fun part, which is to add a baseline that's fatter than my grandma. We'll start off with this Brazilian bass layer from Serum. Guys, we're gonna place all these notes very close together which creates this cool effect. And we're gonna control it using this volume automation. Now let's add some layers to make the bass big. Now we will add some mixing effects and try and make the bass as powerful as possible. Let's start off with an EQ, then some compression using OTT, a fruity blood overdrive which distorts the bass as well as making it crispier, more distortion with fruity fast dist, a second EQ, camel crusher, sound judizer, and a final EQ. This is the bass without the mixing. And this is with. Sounds a lot bigger. To make it even bigger I added some stabs on top. I added these two stab layers. Playing this stab melody. This is what the stabs sound like with the bass. Sounds bigger. This is what we've made so far guys. Now my friends let's make the lead melody. Let's start off with this serum layer. Now we'll add some more layers to make the lead big. I also added this layer playing some harmony notes. For the mixing we're gonna really push the sound and make it hit hard. We'll start off by adding some reverb, then this free panning plugin which pans the lead from left to right, some EQ, some OTT, distortion with fruity fast dist, a second EQ, distortion with camel crusher, and a final EQ. I also added this fruity phaser and turned the mix down to about 25%. This is the lead without the mixing effects. And this is with. Now guys, this is all the melodic elements we've made this far.
sounds nice, but I think we can spice it up and make it more interesting. Let's start by adding this piano fill. I just added an FL keys piano layer, playing these notes, and controlled it with this cutoff automation. The next thing we're gonna add are some harmony chords to create some more emotion. It's just this init saw wave from Silenth 1, playing these notes, while being controlled by this cutoff filter automation. Now guys, we're finally done, but before we check out the final result I would really appreciate it if you checked out my new sample pack. The link is in the description. Alright guys, here we go. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.